The National Housing Conference brought together housing professionals, policymakers, researchers and advocates to discuss solutions to the nation's housing policy challenges. Gloria talked about what San Diego is doing to build more affordable housing and deal with the homelessness crisis. My administration over the last two years has advanced a series of housing reforms to try to address both of those needs, more housing for low-income people and more housing for middle-income people. And I think when you look at our affordable housing density program, as well as some of the innovations we've advanced in accessory dwelling units, what you can see is the production increases in affordable housing and naturally affordable housing. The housing conference was just part of Gloria's D.C. agenda. He also met with U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to discuss the migration challenges at the U.S.-Mexico border, including the lifting of Title 42. Uh, with that uh, restriction uh, anticipated to be lifted on uh, December 21st, I want to explain to Secretary Mayorkas the need for greater communication and coordination between uh, Homeland Security and local cities like ours, um, and also the need for more resources. And he met with the director of the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, Dr. Rahul Gupta, regarding the fentanyl crisis, which is having a wide-reaching and deadly impact across the city and county. Uh, my conversation with our federal partners is going to be very clear. We want to see uh, fentanyl listed as a Schedule One drug, uh, making it the most regulated form of substances that we have. It currently does not enjoy that status. I think that's a problem. Gloria says he's also pushing for further prosecutions against drug dealers who illegally sell fentanyl. As part of the mayor's business in the nation's capital, he also met with Biden-Harris administration officials and congressional leaders. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.